The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining us here at Christ Our Savior Lutheran Church in Holland, Michigan for the whole Council of God, Word and Prayer on this Monday, October the 2nd. We have a new insert. We're in Nahum now, the prophet Nahum. Today we'll have chapter 1, the prayer of the church. We begin with the petitions, then go to the creed and the Lord's Prayer. So let's hear God's Word and pray together. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. Please show me now your ways, that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Give me life, O Lord, according to your word, and I will declare your greatness. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Nahum chapter 1, entitled God's Wrath Against Nineveh. An oracle concerning Nineveh, the book of the vision of Nahum of Elkish. The Lord is a jealous and avenging God. The Lord is avenging and wrathful. The Lord takes vengeance on his adversary and keeps wrath from his enemy. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power, and the Lord will by no means clear the guilty. His way is a whirlwind and a storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. He rebukes the sea and makes it dry. He dries up all the rivers. Vashon and Carmel wither. The bloom of Lebanon withers. The mountains quake before him. The hills melt. The earth heaves before him. The world and all who dwell in it. Who can stand before his indignation? Who can endure the heat of his anger? His wrath is poured out like fire, and the rocks are broken into pieces by him. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. He knows those who take refuge in him. But with an overflowing flood, he will make complete end of the adversary and will pursue his enemy into darkness. What do you plot against the Lord? He will make a complete end. Trouble will not rise up a second time, for they are like entangled thorns, like drunkards as they drink. They are consumed like stubble, fully dried. From you come came one who plotted evil against the Lord, a worthless counselor. Thus says the Lord, Though they are at full strength and many, they will be cut down and pass away. Though I have afflicted you, I will afflict you no more. And now I will break his yoke from off you, you who will burst your bonds apart. The Lord has given commandment about you. No more shall your name be perpetrated from the house of your gods. I will cut off the carved image and the metal image. I will make your grave, for you are vile. Behold upon the mountains the feet of him who brings good news, who publishes peace. Keep your feast, O Judah, fulfill your vows, for never again shall the worthless pass through you. He is utterly cut off. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Nahum foretells God's swift and final destruction of Nineveh and the Assyrian Empire. With mighty power, God executes his avenging wrath against his adversary who plot evil against him and his people. As God mercifully delivered ancient Judah from Assyrian oppression, so he rescued us from sin, death, and the devil through the victory of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray, O oh, gracious Lord, my stronghold in the day of trouble, fill me with confidence in your power to save. In your name I pray, amen. From the Pray For Us calendar on the second day of October, we give thanks to God for the gift of baptism, that his word works through the water to join us to Christ's death and resurrection. We give thanks to you, Lord. Amen. Prayer of the Church. O merciful Father, you have wounded your own Son to bring to us the eternal healing of your love. Bless the sick and those who suffer those wounded in body or mind, and those dying, and all those we now name to you in our hearts. In your own time, grant to them healing according to your will, and sustain them into the day of the resurrection of the body. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things, O Lord, and whatever else you know that we need, we pray you to grant us for the sake of the mercies and by the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ our Lord. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. 
He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. <laughs>